Economist corner, Maruti Suzuki met street expectations today with the second quarter earnings. The country's largest car maker reported a 42% jump in net, which it attributes to higher sale volumes, material cost reduction, and favorable foreign exchange. CNBC TV 18's Shweta Kotari reports the company has also decided to seek shareholder approval for its controversial Gujarat proposal, and that will be on the 16th of November. Helped largely by a near 10% jump in sales volumes, Maruti Suzuki today reported yet another strong set of earnings. The company's profits shot up by 42% year-on-year to rupees 1,256.6 crores, meeting CNBC TV 18's projected 43.7% increase. Maruti's net sales during the quarter stood at 13,574 crores, jumping 13.2% over the same period last year, as against CNBC TV 18's projected increase of 13.6%. During this period, the company sold a total of 3.53 lakh vehicles, marking a growth of 9.8%. The management is buoyant on the road ahead. Domestic growth has been uh, more than uh, about 12%, uh, about but uh, exports from the first half were a little bit low, largely because a shipment got delayed. Uh, in the half year, if you look at the half year results, exports are actually higher than last year. The margins have remained almost unchanged from quarter to quarter. The company's board also took the decision today to seek minority shareholders' nod for the Gujarat plant, which the company says will be operational no later than May 2017. Maruti will seek shareholders' approval through a voting process that will be open for a month, starting November 16. I believe that it may be possible to commission the Gujarat plant actually a couple of months earlier than that. We believe we need the Gujarat plant as early as possible because uh, certainly in 2016 the capacities available in Gurgaon and Manesar will be fully utilized. Importantly, the board today also finalized a new royalty plan under which payments to parent Suzuki will be in rupees and not yen, as has been the practice. This is expected to insulate the company's bottom lines from the currency volatility. In New Delhi, Shweta Kutari.